the Mayana tradition has two kinds, which are known as the Paramitayana tradition and the Vajrayana tradition. The Vajrayana tradition has more methods to realize the ultimate truth or ultimate reality when we are on the path of accumulation or application. And then also it has more methods to gain liberation or to attain Buddhahood for the self of all the sentient beings. So this Vajrayana is very secret. It is not given to anybody. It has to have special criteria or special qualification to receive the Vajrayana teaching or Tantra teaching. Actually, all these uh, Tantric teachings, Buddhist Tantric teachings, are directly given by the Buddha. So the word Tantra can mean the Tantric teaching of Buddhist tradition or it means the mental continuum of our own consciousness. In the Vajrayana tradition, it is very important to receive the empowerment before doing the Vajrayana practice. For example, if one does not own a land, then to use that land, first one needs to get permission or authority from the landowner. Without receiving such authority, if one uses that land, then the landowner can give punishment to oneself because one is using the land without any authority. So similarly, without receiving the empowerment, you don't have the authority or the permission to practice the Vajrayana path. So in order to practice the Vajrayana path, first it is very important to receive the empowerment. Actually, in the Vajrayana tradition, the empowerment is not just a doorway to enter into the Vajrayana path, but it is also the main part or main practice of the Vajrayana path. So therefore, receiving empowerment is very, very important for all the Vajrayana followers.